Hello and a happy new year. Welcome to my very first translated video on this channel. I'm sorry I'm an old German man and my school English is very very old. So I hope you can understand and I translated this because of the Stinger 2 uh, first video on this channel. There were a lot of visitors from UK and USA. So this one is in English for you. Well, if you want to add a laser to your stinger, it's possible to buy the original, but this thing is not much effective. It's powered by little small batteries and I don't want to use them. The original is mounted as this placeholder, but I will show you in this video a much better and effective way how to add a dual laser mod to your stinger. So I searched for a better solution and I found on eBay this laser 303, which is powered by an 8650 rechargeable battery. A much better way. And as you can see it is really really powerful and even in daylight the green laser is very visible. Later in the video you can see an outside test with longer ranges. Yeah, the lasers are very cheap, so I ordered two of them. I want to be safe that they are working. And then I came on the idea to mount both of them. Why not? But how can I do it? The original mounting hole is too small, there is no way to resize it and so I think about another way. The first idea was to build an holder for the arrow lid replacement, but then I think it is too high and much away from the arrow fly line, so I found a better solution. I designed a little holder that fits exactly on the top rail of the stinger. If you want to rebuild it, the SDL files are in the description of the video and they are for free. And as you can see it holds for itself and nothing more is used to fix it. And now the lasers can very easily be mounted and they hold even for itself without any screws or something else. The next question was how to turn the lasers on and off because they are only working as long as you press a switch on the top. And it's not easy to press the switch and shoot at the same time. One possible way is to put some tape on the button and use a key switch on the back of the lasers. But the keys are very very small and I think it's just a question of time that I have lost them. And so I found a way that works even nice. I printed out these two rings and the inner side ring is conical, so this fits exactly on the laser button. So this can be used to switch the button, just place it over and rotate it a little bit to the side and the laser turns on. And even this holds for itself. And now let's see how it works in real life. We are outside my forest, the first distance is about 5 meters. And this video is recorded with a really old cell phone, so in real life you can see better than it's captured on video. But even here you see how powerful these lasers are. This tree is about 20 meters away and the range of the lasers are very very high. Even in the trees behind you can see the points jumping. And now a second test on the other side of the house. Meanwhile it's raining and a little bit darker. And we are now in the range between 15 and 100 meters and even there you can see the laser light shining. And the range is much higher as you can see. In the future I will replace the one laser with an LED flashlight. But I think this was a nice idea for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Wish you all the best in 2022. And if you like this video Please leave a like, leave a comment or subscribe for future crazy projects.